All right, now look at this. You see right now at 12.03 p.m., this car just came through and you see it showed a few seconds ago. But you see that was the location, the time, all done for me. All I had to do was click the link. This is a system that I built to watch every single car on the Texas highway. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it step by step. Traffic Management Center. Imagine NASA, like when I first got in there, it's like it's like NASA mission control, right? There's just screens everywhere. And so just being honest, my job is important, but also very repetitive, especially in the overnight hours. It's harder to see staring at those same screens for hours upon end. Fatigue can kind of set in. But I started to realize that there had to be a way that I can automate a lot of this stuff. So this is how the normal person would do my job. You notice one stop on one camera, you click onto it, you check the map, then you log the location, type up a report pretty much, four steps, then you've got to set the camera so the person coming after you can check it. Once again, these steps get very repetitive. So I tried something. I wrote a tiny script to pull data from one feed and the, we and the feed I'm talking about is Waze. Is and within minutes, I had this. All right, so I just put something, cause you got to start simple, right? And then this would it output. So I gotta be transparent about this too. When it came to building something like this, I already kind of know the type of questions and the type of, I guess, answers that I'm looking for, if that makes sense. So for example, when you see that it's looking for a link or API of some sort, I know that, I, I, and I already know that I'm gonna use Waze because Waze is the platform where people log and kind of report stop cars on a shoulder. All right, so knowing that, that I'm gonna use Waze, then I'm gonna just go to the Waze live map. Now, one thing I know as far as the Dallas-Fort Worth area is that you can look at it as one big area or you could go, okay, I just wanna do Fort Worth or whatever the case may be. So in this example, you know what? I'm gonna use a city I don't live in. I'm gonna pick Miami and then go to Miami Waze live map. Now it's showing Miami. So here, all right, now that we got Miami in view, we still looking for that link, right? We looking for the link that the code is calling for, right? So as far as that, I know that that's this, right? So I'm gonna copy and paste this and put it back here and say, the URL is, All right, so I'm gonna go copy that code into Visual Studio, create a new file, Python file, and then paste that in, and then save it. I always save it as something simple. Let's go to app.py, right? I do something simple so that I know. All right, cool, let's run it. So we're gonna open a new ter terminal, okay? It told me to try my command that way. All right, see, at this point, I knew I was onto something. And the reason I knew is because they have their own API that they kind of show on a big map. You will see a car here, a car there, and it's not really even a car. It could be anything, but you have to kind of assume. So, so when it went time for me to use those tools, I would find cars. However, it's the same thing that the other agents are looking at, right? So if that car is taken already, you can't get that. And once again, it's competitive. So it's kind of like, you know, we're unofficially racing and seeing who can get more. You see what I mean? The, so anyway, the dilemma of it all is speed, right? Then visually having to skip around on a big map. So at this point, I knew when I seen this that I was onto something because I always told myself, even if I'm on ways looking at this instead of the native one that, that they have as far as there, I knew that, hey, if I had a list of these, then it would be great, but it's about to get even better. All right, so seeing this, I know I've got stuff, right? And they got a type, subtype, the road, and the report by. Who the reports by isn't really important, but the type it is, right? Because when there's a traffic jam, a lot of the times we know, okay, there might be an accident or something. Hazard, road closed, hazard, hazard. But I'm noticing in the subtype, oh, hazard on shoulder, car stopped. 
that's what I want. So now, this is when you go back to ChatGPT. So I pretty much asked it, hey, I'm focused on car stopped on the shoulder. I noticed that in, in the subtype, can we group all of these together? Because that's what I'm focused on, right? So of course it wrote the code and now I'm just gonna copy and paste and run that again. All right, so now, boom, this got what I want. All right, so now that I know it has exactly what I want, it, it, it labels the shoulder, it labels the car stopped on the shoulder for me boom, I'm already like 50% of the way. But there's only one problem. I still would like to see it, you know what I mean? Like in the PowerShell like it is, that's already good, right? Like if I work down in Miami doing that, I would just go, you know, to the, the nearest camera. But just to add a speed factor on it, I need to see it visually and I need a little more information about them, right? So this is what I did next. So I asked it, so now I want this to pull up a browser window and make an HTML file where I see a live feed of cars stopping in that area. All right, and so it's gonna pull it, filter those, sorts newest first, writes a shoulder feed HTML with auto refresh, opens in a browser and keeps updating the file every few seconds. All right, so I'm gonna take this, copy it in, paste and run it. All right, so this is what I have. As you see, the time is kind of out of whack. Can't do much with a latitude and longitude. So it's still coming along because even though I can't do much with a latitude and longitude, the most important thing to fix next is the time. Because remember, with what I do, speed is a factor. So if Johnny across the room gets to that vehicle and tags it before me, he gets, he gets the stat, I don't. So speed is a factor here. So I need to know the freshest, the newest ones. And I also need to know that this page is updating every three seconds, something like that. I don't wanna get my IP banned. So this is exactly how I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna come back and say, okay, I need the times converted to however many minutes ago. So I pretty much said, okay, I need times converted to however many minutes ago, and I need actual locations, not, long, not latitude and longitude, pretty much. All right, so I copy the code in. And if you notice, one thing it didn't point out to me, that, but I am gonna point out to y'all is to geo to geo reverse uh, that location, it's using OpenStreetMap, which technically is um, another kind of API kind of deal. All right, so I just ran that to see. And now, okay, boom, 10 seconds ago that came through. Perfect, so I would have known to go to ways, look at the nearest exit. And hey, something new that I didn't see is a reliability and confidence score. Wow, okay. So the next time I get time, I'm actually gonna look into that because even with this tool, in my like day-to-day -day usage, I do have some times where a car is just simply not there or sometimes it drove off or whatever. But the confidence score and reliability score of the person reporting it kind of changes it so for this version i might keep this all right so now we need to be able to see this right so what i'm going to say is now i need a link to take me there on the ways map all right so i'm going to come over here copy it and run it boom now i can click it and it'll take me right here to where there's actually a car stopped and so what i would do is say okay this is Florida Turnpike and Quail Roost camera that I need to look on. And I need to look south and it's going south. So now, just honestly, this simple version right here could take an agent where I work from however many tickets per night to 50 to 100 if they, if they wanted to, if they put in the time. Because see, on the native system, the car has to stay there for I think I've counted eight minutes before. Well, sometimes cars stop and drive off, right? But you still get that ticket if you catch it. So that's that many more tickets a month or per day that you could get. But this isn't as far as I'm gonna take this. The last thing I see 
is the auto refresh, right? I wanted to auto refresh. I wanted to pretty much show every new car that comes and I wanted to re auto refresh every three seconds, right? So that's gonna be the next thing we do. All right, so we're gonna come over here back to Chachi and I pretty much asked it, I told it I wanna auto refresh every three seconds. Went and saved that and let's run it. All right, so now it's gonna auto refresh every five seconds. Now, 21 seconds ago this came in. You see just a few seconds ago it came in. So it'd be the same process. I'd probably come to the Palmetto Express in 50 second camera or if there's one, a lot of the times there will be one like right here when freeways connect, I'd look there and look north and I'd see the car. Boom, this one just came through. Once again, a few seconds ago, going south. Now that I got the auto refresh in, I think I'm gonna take it a step further than even mine is, right? I wanna do something with this reliability and confidence thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if I wanna prioritize prioritize it i at least want to be able to sort by it so i want to make that field sortable so that i can filter by the highest confidence reliability as well and i also want to style this page right so it's trust me it's fine working how it is but um it can be little things like bolder text or or colors that can make the difference so that's what i'm going to do I'm gonna color code it, I'm gonna sort it, and yeah, those are gonna be the two changes that I make. So I said I wanna sort by confidence and reliability, but also be able to sort by the time that it came in. I also wanna make the text bolder and color code the incidents. 10 minutes green, 10 minutes to, through 20 minutes yellow, 20 minutes or longer red. All right, so. I'm gonna paste that in and run that. All right, so here we go. We got bolder text. We got, oh, this looks nice. All right, so confidence, boom. This one, real, real reliability, that one, both together. So I see they go hand in hand and then the time that it came in. It's auto refreshing every second. It, it does exactly what I needed to do and what I'm about to do is definitely take this version and use it for work as you see that's up and running if you had a job like mine to where this was your job this would definitely help you and it helps me right since I've started I've added a, a separate page where I log my own tickets. You can add kind of the weather when it's raining, like, hey, it's about to start pouring down. That kind of lets me know to start looking for, to put up signs for ponding. Hey, this area is raining more, so, you know, I might be at a higher risk of having wrecks over here or whatever the case may be. But, man, let me know in the comments, bro, what's your job? Because my next video, I want to take one of y'all's job and build, build this live and make it to where, boom, you can kind of be on autopilot. Even though you're always on alert, you're always, don't get that twisted, but you can kind of have some help doing your job. So Rico gang, I'm back, I'm on AI now. That's what we doing, love y'all, let's go.